Hey everybody, I'm back again with another video. I hope everyone is doing well. Unfortunately, I'm coming with a video that's pretty sad. Um, it's about a young lady named Latanya Janelle Carwell. Her remains were found on Golden Camp Road and they've been able to identify that the remains belong to her. So here's a short news clip and then I'll get into the article. Confirms human remains found. Coroner confirms human remains found on Golden Camp Road are those of Latanya Janelle Carwell. The teenager went missing in April of last year. Today, investigators say it is her body. News Channel 6's Renetta Dubose has been following this story since Carwell was first reported missing. She's live on Golden Camp Road now where the remains were uncovered. Renetta, what can you tell us right now? You know, Jenny, it's safe to say not just the CSRA, but the entire world has an ending to a story that they did not want to hear. The remains found at this home on Friday on Golden Camp Road were identified by the coroner as being those of 16-year-old Latanya Janelle Carwell. Now, on Friday, it took an entire day for a forensic anthropologist to unearth the bones that have now been identified as the 16-year-old we have all grown to love. The owner of this home found the bones while surveying the land and saw a bone sticking up out of, a, of the ground in the wooded area behind the home. He was actually about to rent the home at that time. Now, the coroner, Mark Bowen, worked with investigators with Richmond County and the GBI to quickly identify those bones and of course you will remember her mother Tanya Tripp and her stepfather Leon Tripp were arrested in connection to her disappearance now there is this is no doubt a very sad case and we will keep following this case because we know that the Tripps will have pending court cases we're live in Augusta Renata DuBose WJBF News Channel 6 back to you okay so if I made a mistake and said that it had occurred in South Carolina I apologize for that I did not read this article prior to um, doing the video because I want to read them in real time. So when you see the information, I see the information. I, I rarely, I don't really go through and read articles before I start recording. Um, I want to have a honest, um, truthful reaction to what I am reading and you are getting that as well when you watch my videos uh, if there's a problem with that please let me know anyways um, that's a small mistake compared to the fact that this child is is dead and they still have yet to determine um, what well, I haven't read it yet how she died or or anything if she was killed we don't know the article starts off saying Augusta, Georgia, WJBF. The Richmond County Sheriff's Office confirms that the human remains found in the woods on Golden Camp Road have been identified as 16 year old. And I'm sorry for mispronouncing her name, but I know it now is Latania Janelle Carwell. Rest in peace and my condolences go out to her family and friends. Richmond County Coroner Mark Bowen says that she was identified through dental records because they only found her skeleton, her bones. Latania was first reported missing last, uh, missing last April the 17th when her mother, Tanya Tripp, says she left with her stepfather, Leon Tripp. Leon Tripp faces charges of murder and kidnapping in regards to her disappearance. So this is Leon and then this is state, uh, excuse me, Tanya on the right. Tanya, her mother, is charged with concealing a death. Leon Tripp later told investigators that she is dead. The Richmond County Sheriff's Office will hold a press conference on Tuesday at 10.30 a.m. And, of course, they say this is a developing story and they'll come with more details as they become available so she was a very beautiful child it's sad that this keeps happening over and over this type of thing where um, young people are either killed 
by their parents or people close to them, family, friends, you know, acquaintances. Uh, there was a young lady I spoke of. You can go back to my channel. It occurred in, I think it was Detroit. A young lady was killed. Well, her body um, was found. Similarly, not it, she hadn't decomposed, of course, yet. I think she had been shot. But if you go back and look at my um, video, her name was uh, Kia or Kaya Hobson. Go back and look at my channel. And I did two videos on that. Um, that particular story is very sad. I mean, I, I don't know the details of her situation with her, her, um, guardians, her mother or her mother's, uh, I guess her stepfather, her mother's husband. Um, but there had to be something going on. Like maybe they'll determine there was foul play. We don't know. Maybe her parents have nothing to do with it. I would hope that that would be, that would be the case, that they had nothing to do with this, or there was some something else that happened that they weren't where they weren't involved. Um, but please let me know uh, what you think in the comment section. This it's getting late. It's um don't want to start getting emotional about this, but. It just really hurts my heart when um, younger people uh, die suddenly or there's foul play involved, especially a young black person who has not even started their life yet and has so many things to live for. You know, I... I don't know. It's, it can become difficult. Sometimes it is difficult to deal with certain issues. Maybe there were issues in her family. I'm just trying to rationalize how this could have happened. But you all let me know what you think in the comment section. I'll have to think about this further. And if there's more details, I'll try my best to keep you up to date on those for this particular story you all have a good evening stay safe and i'll talk to you in the next video